Got a video going out by request. A lot of people are asking me, Brian, what's the difference between the American Audio VMS4 and the VMS4.1? It's a very good question because they look so similar, but there are some differences, so let's take a look. There are a few cosmetic differences. On the original VMS4, we have a gray and black scheme. On the new VMS4.1, it's all black with a few red lines here and there separating some of the function areas of the machine itself. Now all of the little sliders, buttons, knobs, platters, everything like that, it's in the same place. The real difference on the VMS 4.1 is inside. First of all, the microphone. On some of the original VMS 4s, the microphone impedance wasn't correct for some reason, so the fix was, and still is, to go ahead and give American Audio a call, and they're going to send you an impedance adapter that plugs into the XLR jack in the rear of the unit, It'll make your mic sound a heck of a lot better. Not a problem with the VMS 4.1, it's all fixed. Also, some people had a problem with the overall gain of the unit. They didn't feel like they were getting enough volume out of it. Not a problem with the VMS 4.1, you've got all kinds of gain. Now there's one more major difference that makes all the difference in the world when it comes to sound. That is the DSP decor. Now way down in the corner here you can see it says DSP decor inside which of course is the new premium sound card from American Audio. Huge improvement over anything you've heard from American Audio before. It also turns up in the VMS too. So which one to buy? Definitely go for the VMS 4.1. If your retailer doesn't have it, wait for it to come in or go somewhere where they do have it. The improvements are definitely worth it and at the same price, $4.99. So there's my video, those are my opinions on it, and those are some of the differences between the VMS4 and the VMS4.1. If you got any questions, please let me know. I'll try to do more videos for you. Practice and enjoy.